Hey, welcome back guys, it's Slider here, and we are back on the Sky Factory map. And as you can see, I made a couple little adjustments, and we're just going to jump right in, by the way. Um, I did relocate the tree farm over to here, and I planted a few new trees. I now got some spruce wood planted, some acacia wood planted, and then I kept the rubber planted. I just want some uh, different building materials for when we start to get building, like, the house and stuff. I just want to show you who did that. And then also, I did something different over here. I increased the um, mob farm one block higher. And reason being was I realized that I wasn't getting any endermen and we're going to need some ender pearls. And so I figured if I increase it one, maybe we'll start to get some spawning. And it turns out that I did. I got one um, enderman in my last uh, farm. So I've got a couple ender pearls. I do get them occasionally from the loot bags, but not all that often. And so I, you know, why not be able to spawn endermen too, right? And if you can see, I've already got like a an overhead eave um, as I'm doing this. I want to put some more up, but I also put a couple reaching out this way so I can kind of back up. So if the Endermen do zoom out, um, I'll still be able to take a shot at them. But I do want to extend this one more out all the way around. That way I can just be safely on this uh, walkway and not have to worry about Endermen attacking me. How did I not pick up that one piece? What is that? Let me guess. More gunpowder, because I don't have enough of that. I have killed so many creepers, it's not even funny. My gunpowder is, like, unlimited right now. Well, not unlimited, but I got a lot. Um, here we go. Let's see how much gunpowder I got there. I got uh, almost two stacks in that chest. I've got a stack in this chest and about a half a stack. Yeah, I've got a lot of gunpowder. Uh, yeah. So, so anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and just pick right back up on the book today. Oh, of course, I don't have enough room. And uh, check out where we're on the achievements. So... The last couple things we left off on was upgrade an existing Tinker's Tootle metal part, which we're actually going to do right now, and then update your monster farm to kill automatically. And I've got some ideas for that. I don't know how well they're going to work out. I've got two different ideas I want to try out, and uh, we'll see how that goes. But the first thing I need to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and store this real quick. Uh, there's got to be a better way to store this, but for right now, I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, maybe I'll move all that tinker stuff down here as well. I don't know. So I need some gold. Um, is that gold? No, that's electrum. That's ferrous. Oh, so I think, I believe it's iron and nickel now, but I've gotten quite a bit of invar. Um, and I believe it was iron and nickel that was giving me the invar. So I do have the invar and I can start making some of the hardened products, which is nice. Um, but I'm not 100% sure what was doing it. I just started getting invar ingots when I was doing it, so... I believe it was nickel and iron. Uh, don't hold me to that, and we'll test it out later. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and grab some gold real quick. Let's just leave two here, and we'll go ahead and craft up three things of gold. Hey, there we go. And uh, that way we can make the plates. And then we need to go, actually, I'm, yeah, well, for right now I'm going to leave them there. I'll move them in between episodes. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make a stencil for the sword head. And I forget which one it is for my rapier. Uh, my rapier is this one right here. Okay. So it's this little guy right here. And, oh, you know what? What am I doing? I don't need to make that. I already have it. I just need to get some wood so I can make the stencil. And then maybe we'll just make like an iron one or something. I don't know. I'm thinking iron works. It's the one I have the most material of. So it just makes sense that I would do iron. Um... What is this cost? I can't do wood. It's got to be stone, huh? Y you got to be stone, really? All right. Uh, one of these has stone in it. Uh, maybe it's this one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can do it with regular or not. So we'll just grab a piece of both. All right. So if I put you in, yeah, you'll do that. All right. Cool. Wait. What are you doing? Did you just? I don't know how to I see that glitch out like that. Okay, there we... What? Okay, that's just misbehavior. Can I... Really? Really? That's how you're gonna... That's how you're gonna do me? You're not gonna give me the blade, but you'll let me have the shard? But I keep the stone? I just created a stone shard. Um, okay. That's a little glitchy, but whatever. Alright, cool. So, I've got that. Um, I can go ahead and put you back... Wait. Oh, I didn't grab you. Put you back in here. And... Yeah, that was that was interesting. That was just a little glitchy. Whatever. 
So we're going to go make the cast of the uh, stone sword here. And then we are going to make ourselves an iron one. Oh, yeah, I need to smelt some iron down, don't I? Um, I don't know. I think it's just one. But we'll smelt up three ingots just in case, or four ingots just in case. And I don't need that anymore. So this is going to melt this down, and then I, should, I can get the gold out later. I'm not worried about that right now. And then we'll have the stone sword. And if you can see, I've actually got this guy pretty freaking beefed up now. I don't know. I'm still getting experience on it, so I'm still getting stuff. Like, skills legendary. Um, I did add a diamond and emerald to it, so my durability is, like, out of the park. Uh, but it's got knockback, luck, sharpness, auto repair, and lifesteal. So, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff on it now. And that's just from using it, actually. The only things I added was the emerald and the diamond. Well, that was just to get the durability up on it. Because I got tired of constantly having to fix it. And let's see. Let's switch over to iron. And make ourselves an iron stone or iron blade. And I don't know how much this is going to increase it or improve. Did I? Oh, that's a stone one. I was like, did I get two? Is it really getting glitchy today? Um, so we're going to go over here to the part builder. And I believe, I don't know how to like add parts to it. Oh, that's not it. Just like that. No, I don't know. Do it. I don't do it in the part. No, it's got to be in this one. Um, how do I add this to the sword? Okay, so I just read something that says it needs to be a fully upgraded tool. <coughs> so I'm going to see if that shard will work first. And let's see if that. Yes, that will. Okay, cool. And then I should be able to do what I was trying to do, like this. So I put the sword in, put the iron in, and yes, now it becomes an iron repeater. Yay! So we've done that. Cool. Check mark. We've got an iron sword now. There's a durability on it now. It still says 101, so I don't know. Um, but it's reinforced one, so cool, right? Whatever. So next thing we're going to be doing is um, updating the monster farm to kill monsters automatically. So the first thing I need to do is go in here and take out all the mobs so we can work on it freely and safely. And then once we do that, I'm going to open it up so monsters won't, mobs won't spawn in here. And then we will get this thing set up for um, uh, auto killing. And that way I won't even have to farm it anymore, which would be kind of nice, right? I think it will be. What is that thing right there? What are you? It's a witch. Oh. Yeah, you can't throw your potions at me, can you? Alright, cool. So, we, oh, look at that. All sorts of fun stuff dropped. Alright, cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up so it stops spawning mobs. And I'm going to go ahead and throw some torches up in here just to make sure it stops spawning mobs. There we go. And I might have to get in here, so I'll take this one off, too. All right, cool. So I've got two ideas. Uh, the first one is because I've got so much rubber from the rubber trees that I was doing, I was thinking about making some of these conveyors. And if you're not familiar with them, I already started cooking up some rubber. And I don't need a lot, so I'll just grab some there. And then I believe, I don't know if it's regular stone or smooth stone, so I, I might grab a little bit of both. Um, grab some regular stone real quick. And if I remember correctly, it's just like three of these and three of these. No, four of these? Six of these? No, um, cobble. Do I have cobble in one of these somewhere? If not, I know where I can get some in our awesome cobble farm. So I just go down here and grab some. I'm only going to grab like 12 because I don't need a lot right now. There we go. So that's going to make us one to two batches. I don't remember how many conveyors you get, but I do remember the rest because I used them all the time. It was like that or like that. Okay, whatever. Oh, you know what? No, it's not even cobble. It's iron and redstone. Jeez, I remember these recipes. I really do. It's iron and redstone. Remember correctly, it's like two iron and four redstone is what I'm going to need. Right? Yeah. Right? Just like that. So it's like you, iron in the middle, and redstone. That's what the recipe is, right? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be 16, which I think is going to be more than enough. 
So we're going to go and set these up real quick. And then I'm going to have to do... Okay, so this is going to push everybody to the middle. And if you've ever watched any of my series, you know how often I do this. I do this with all my auto farms when I'm doing the uh, Mine Factory Reloaded stuff. Um, and so it's really easy to put them in. I'm going to need... I might want to make this a little bit wider now. I don't know. But for right now, um, I put one here, one here, one here, one here. I want to leave this block empty so they have something that they can spawn on. And then it's just going to push them right to the middle like this. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. And that's just going to push them right to the middle, right? So then I need something that's going to hurt them right here. And I think that is probably going to be... So I don't have an auto grinder set up. Hey, couldn't give me both, really? Um... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Maybe. Okay. If I put, see, I, I, I think this, I don't remember if it's open blocks has it. It's called like an item, uh, item collector. That's what it's called. This one, item collector pipe jacket for extra utilities. No, item collector, that's not it. I mean, that might work, but that's not what I'm thinking. What's the recipe on this guy? Uh, machine frame or factory machine block, a chest and two plastic sheets will give me eight of those. Let's let's go make that real quick and see if that works. Well, okay, no, that's just not gonna work. I know that won't work because I need something that like, oh, there's the other one. Um, it's a hopper, but it's got a different name to it. It's there it is, vacuum hopper. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So the vacuum hopper will suck up anything in the area. The reason is I want to do iron spikes. Iron spikes, they'll just freaking constantly take damage on them. But I need something that will actually suck up the objects in the area. And so the vacuum hopper would be a good way to go. Because then I just got to put one vacuum hopper in one of these blocks right here. And then I can put a chest <coughs> right here. And then it should all be good. And then I can just put the spikes right here. Yes, this will work. Um, I need to put up a torch right here or you're going to start spawning in and I don't want that. There we go. All right. So we need to make the vacuum hopper, um, which was a hopper. What was it? A hopper, uh, obsidian and an, an eye of ender. And I know I've got at least one piece of obsidian downstairs and I'm going to need the iron anyways. Okay. So that's going to be for that. And then, okay. Uh, iron spikes is three storage, which is six iron, three iron ingots, which is nine iron, and then a block. So I'm going to need 18 iron, right? <clears throat> and that's going to be, oh, look, I have, I have two sticks that I picked up. Oh, I need three, though. All right, so let me get that iron block there, and then I'm going to have to, well, you know what? I got planks. Cool. All right. And do this, right? Okay, cool. And then I don't remember the recipe perfectly, but I believe it's something like this. And this will give me iron spikes. Yes! Okay. And then I need the ender eye, or the eye of ender, which is one ender pearl, and I don't have any blaze powder in here. Oh, I'm going to need more iron for the hopper, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Where I'm just spinning out of control here. All right, and then I'm gonna need two more chests. Don't forget that. Don't forget I need two more chests. Do I have any chests already made so I don't make any more? Okay, I got one there. Cool. And then I need two more chests. Ah ha ha! Perfect. Okay. So let me get this rubber out of the way. Just go chill over there. Okay. Iron, 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 iron. That gives me the hopper, right? Yes. And do I have blaze powder in this chest? No. Do I have blaze powder in this chest? Yes. All right. So then I've got my eye of ender. Cool. And then hopper and obsidian. Vacuum hopper. Sweet. Um, I had two chests. Where did they go? Did I not grab them? Where did those two chests go? They're not. Ah, they're right there. Okay. I put all three. Okay. So I've got the two chests for that. I've got the hopper for that. I got the iron. Sp I think I've got everything I need. 
So let's see if this works out. So I'm going to be removing this block, this block, and this block. I'm going to place the vacuum hopper right there. The two chests are going to go right here. And then if I right click on this guy, I got to orient this one like that. Right? Okay, cool. Let me throw something on the ground real quick. Sucks it up, puts it in the chest. Sweet. Okay. And then my iron spikes, I'm going to be putting like on this one. Well, that's weird. Um, I was expecting that to go straight down, but cool, whatever. I think they still work on their sides too. I think if you just touch the spike, it works like so. So then they should push to the middle, get hurt by this. Their items will get picked up from the vacuum hopper. I think this will work. I think this is going to be good. Let's go ahead and knock that. There we go. Drop in the auto item hopper should automatically pick you up. Okay. And <clears throat> um, I might have to enclose this now because okay, the item hopper's not picking that up. The vacuum hopper's not picking that item up. Huh. Do these have to be facing up? Do they have to be facing up? Hold on. Let me, let me delete these blocks here. I'm going to figure this out. I don't know if they have to be facing up or not, but... Oh, is there one still in here? Is that going to prevent my chest from opening? And that's going to prevent the chest from opening. Okay, this is just not working out. Okay, we're going to get this figured out. Um, I thought I had a good idea. I thought I did. Maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe. Please don't lose this item. Please don't lose this item. <gasps> okay, cool. I got it. <laughs> okay. Um, there's nothing in here, is there? Okay. All right, cool. I like when I don't lose stuff to the void. <clears throat> okay. So if I move these up a layer. So if I put the chest... All right, so if the chest goes here, oh, that's not where I want you. I want you on the other side. Where did that chest go? It couldn't have fallen through the void, could it? Oh, no, it's in my dang inventory. Jeez. All right. And if I put the hopper right here, right? that side nope I want that one there we go okay and if I put wood here 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 into the hopper really okay we are gonna get this we're gonna get this this is so gonna happen like that all right and if I put one more block right here, there we go, <clears throat> and put these up here like this, there we go, and if I put the iron spikes on top, well, that's not what I wanted, like that, did you go back and, come on, really, am I going to keep clicking on the vacuum hopper, give me that back, there we go like so and if I leave that one side open like that then if 
stuff gets thrown. Okay, the vacuum popper's gonna pick those up. Cool. <clears throat> but if anybody gets killed right here, is that vacuum hopper gonna pick it up from that far out? Like, I don't know how far out the vacuum hopper's gonna work. So, let me do this. So, if an item dies, or a guy dies, come on. Okay, the vacuum hopper doesn't seem to be getting it right there. Huh. I don't know what the reach is on that vacuum hopper. But that doesn't seem to be working. No, it just seems to be stopping right there. If I put the spikes up top, will they still get hit by them? That could be an idea. That way the stuff will still flow to the uh, item hopper. So all I gotta do is this with this one and make stuff go that way. Same with this. If anything falls there to go that way. All right, and let me get in here. Uh, no, I guess it's half labbed. Um, I don't have any half labs on me, so I'll do. I've got this guy right here. Really? Jesus. I'm going to figure this out. I swear it's going to happen. Okay. Let me just chop this guy out real quick. And place him right here. I don't want it to be in the bottom one. I want it to be in the top one. So, can I place you right here? Why can't I? You can't go there. You can't. Oh, these are both half slabs. So, I just want to get up in this thing. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. And then let me take this block out. Like, this is just way too much freaking annoyance. Okay. So you guys are all going to get pushed right here. So if I put these up like this, that's not going to hit. Nope, it's got to be down one. All right. So I need to put you guys right here. Make sure I'm not going to get hit by these. Hey, come on. Oh, it's so hard to get off these conveyors. Okay. And right there and right there. Okay, so everybody will get pushed in. Their items will drop and they will... Yeah, okay, this should work. This should work. I hope. I'm just being optimistic here. All right. All right, so let's put you back in there. And just for aesthetics purposes, let's put you back there. And I'm running out of wood that has dropped. Alright, so, oh yeah, I need that one. Let's go get some more wood real quick. I think we got this, though. I think we got this. Because that way, everything will get pushed right into the spikes. Then the item hopper will pick them up. And there's some slabs right there. Okay. And we should be Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Goo! All right, so you go like that. Okay, so that's red. Oh, it's not red though. Um, I'm thinking this might be producing light. So let me do this. Let me block these off because that would be where the light would be coming in there. Actually, I'm going to do it all the way like this because I don't need to reach them anymore. So let's do this. Uh, I didn't want to do that one. I still want to be able to see in occasionally. I want to see if they're still spawning. So, oh. Like this. Okay. That's still yellow. Where's the light coming in from? I have a feeling it's this top one right here. And then... 
probably on the other side where the hopper's at as well. Is that all black? Yeah, okay, that's dark now. And this should be dark. Okay, cool. So if all goes well, things will start spawning in there. And then I should be able to just check the chest right there. There's got to be a better way to get to that chest. I don't know. Oh, the hopper still picked those up. Nope, it turned to yellow. So I guess we'll just deal with the difficult grab for right now. I mean, as long as it's automated, that's all we're going for. We will come back shortly. Okay, I can still get to it pretty easily. And we will see if that's working. But as it is, it looks like it's fully automated. The spikes will kill anything that gets towards the middle. I'll collect their goodies. I'm going to go ahead and chalk that one up as... Oh, well, no, until I test it, I can't chalk it up as done. But we can go to the next page and see what we got going on. Make a watering can. What's the recipe for a watering can? A watering can. Okay. That's great. I want the recipe for it. Okay, here we go. A bowl for I. What's the difference? Peaceful mode only? Oh, I see. Interesting. Broken. Watering can reinforced. Uh, bed rocky minga. I don't know how to make that yet and a soul fragment. So we're gonna go with this basic one here. Bone meal, a bowl, and four iron ingots. We can definitely do that. Start off with a bowl. I got too many, but whatever. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And I've got four of those. And I'm gonna need a piece of bone meal, which I believe is in this one, yes. And iron ingots, which is downstairs. All right, we might get, to, I think this whole page that we're, I just looked at was all farming stuff. And I think we can get quite a bit of that done. All right, so it was one, two, three, four, like that I think it was. Bone meal on top and a bowl. Yes, and we got a watering can. So no more of our uh, twerking to uh, get it uh, done. And then I should be able to, I think I just right click on water, right? Or do I have to like, aha, so it was working. Okay, cool. And then this should grow the trees up. At least faster than the twerking did. Can I not? Uh, it's got all this stuff above it. Do I have one? Well, the watering can's working. So let me go grab one of these uh, one of these guys, these drying racks. I'm just going to hang the watering can over here for right now. Like so. And I have a watering can now. Okay, cool. So, it was working. It was just my particle effects were off. Alright, video settings. Back to minimal. So, we've got the watering can done. Uh, prepare a farm space for several crops. Okay, I think I got quite a bit of dirt around here somewhere. I haven't really looked at my dirt levels in a while. Um, those are all empty anyways, I think. Empty, 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 empty. Yeah, so I've got all the dirt around here somewhere. Aha, 34 dirt. Okay, cool. So I think since I started the trees right here, I think I'm going to start my farming area like right here. Um, maybe right to the edge of this. And do a little three wide here. And I should go dump some of my stuff so I can just get wood in my inventory. So I don't need sticks, arrows, uh, apples, rotten flesh. I'm already full in that one. Rotten flesh, some bottles, bowls I don't need, potion I don't need. Oh, I did get a little loot bag. Let me check that out. Put all my building materials. Oh, I need the dirt. Um, I'm going to need that eventually, but I'm just clearing this stuff out so I feel a little more comfortable with my inventory the way it should be. Put the watering bucket over here, I guess. And let's see if I got anything useful from this bag. Um, a knowledge fragment, a full guard pattern, and the ender. Increased skull and ender pearl drops. Ooh, interesting. Well, we'll throw it in this chest that actually has some room real quick. 
which is neither one of them. Oh, but this chest is empty now, so. Put you guys in there. Go drop off these patterns. And now I'm feeling a little more organized. Uh, redstone, I'm just going to throw up here for right now. Okay. So I'm going to need quite a bit of wood. And let me go ahead and grab a crafting table just to put over here. All right, I'm not going to need a lot of space for the start of this. Um, let's see. I'm just doing a basic farm. So, maybe a little 8x8 eight eight area here. Okay, that's going to be events. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight actually I'm gonna do a nine by nine because I'm gonna have one block in the middle for that and so this one's gonna be the edge okay oh but I want dirt for the rest of this right that's what I want right dirt oh who I was holding shift thinking it was the tilde key and like I was just gonna drop off the planet right there so um there we go. Give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if any of you guys know, a nine by nine can be uh, watered by one, just one water source block right in the middle because it reaches out four in all directions. And in case you didn't know that, if you did know that, I'm sorry for being repetitive to telling you stuff you already knew. And I think I'll be, I can't be all of it, right? 9, 18, 27. Oh, yeah. So that's all the dirt I have for right now. All right, and then I can go grab a water source block real quick. Oh, I put my bucket in here. I just grabbed that. And that's just going to flow for right now. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 5 right here. So my water source block is going to be right here for the time being and I don't think I have a wooden hoe I, I know actually I got one somewhere I just don't know where it's at it's probably in one of these two chests there it is All right, so I, I, I mean, it's not the prettiest thing by all means, I know that, but it is, as the thing said, an area to do multiple crops. I can definitely do multiple crops here. Um, so that's four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the corner. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the corner. And then this should just take me home. And I'll put some fence up around this bad boy. Eventually. Maybe not quite this second. There we go. The water is hydrating. Okay, so what were some of the other things I had to do? Um, prepare a farming space for several crops. Okay. Craft a Menincio seed. Okay. We can probably do that. Oh, well, I think that's a check mark right there. <coughs> it doesn't say actually start farming. It just says prepare a farming area. Uh, let's check out this Menincio seed. Menincio. A Menincio seed? Yes. Okay. How do I craft that? I got a whole bunch of that with some regular seeds. Okay. I've got regular seeds somewhere. I'm not sure where, but I know I'm going to need eight of these now. And one of these has seeds in it. There we go. Let's craft up a Menincio seed. All right. So magical crops. This is something new that I've never done before. Uh, make a Maddox from Tinker's Construct. We can do that. We can definitely do that. If I remember right, it's an axe head and a pick head, I believe, or shovel. 
Axe head or pick head? Which one is it? Uh, the Maddox is right here, right? It is an axe head and a shovel with a stick. Okay, I've got the axe head, so I just need the shovel. And maybe we'll do this one out of... We'll do it out of aluminum. Maybe aluminum. That could be fun. Although I don't really want to do a new cast. So maybe we'll just do that stone. Stone to start. I think that's a... Why did I run back down here? I don't need that. Oh, well. I'll grab some cobble while I'm here. All right. Uh, oh, but I need that. Oh, that's upstairs. I need the axe head. So, do I have a stick on me? I do now. Okay, there we go. And I will grab the axe head. Go to the part builder. Throw some stone in here. Axe head. There's that. Shovel head. Got that. Put both of those back. Part builder and X shovel and stick. Put these vice versa. Wait. There we go. We have a Maddox. Cool. Got it. Uh, start a food farm and a Menincio farm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this Menincio seed, which I assume is just like a regular seed. It is. Cool. All right, and uh, oh, where's my watering can? Let's try to speed this up real quick. I hate that I can't see the particles, but hey, it's growing. It's obviously working. And if I get more seeds, then maybe we'll make this whole thing a Menincio farm here. And then uh, right next door, I will start a crop farm. And I'll probably do that off camera because that's just kind of a, a lot of wasted time. Okay, what did this give me? Oh, that hurts. Okay, got to be careful with those, apparently. Um, and it wasn't, I don't know, is it full grown? This one doesn't give like a 100% marker, so I don't know if I need to break it or what. Okay, it gave me seeds and Menincio. Okay. So I'm going to need more seeds, so the other farm is going to help with that process. So what I think I'll do is I'll turn this into a Menincio farm, and then right next door I will start a... Uh, a regular farm and we'll get that going but at least half of that's done and let's go check to see if the mob farm is working if the mob farm is working I can check that off as a win for today aha an ender pearl a couple minutes ago and so it's working so we have created an auto farm um, I think it's just gonna not be a lot of mobs because it can only spawn on these two blocks on each side uh, maybe, no. Yeah, because that's the only way that they're going to... I might widen this a little bit. Because eventually they're going to walk towards the middle, right? I don't know. But you guys seem to be doing okay. So we've got some stuff planned for you coming up. That's for sure. Um, but I, I'm going to go ahead and check off that. And I think we've got that entire first set done now. Update your Marshall Farm Kill automatically. We've done um, we've prepared it, we've crafted, we made a Maddox. So this is actually going to get done in the meantime. And um, yeah, I think that was I think that was a pretty productive episode. I've got an auto farm now, which is awesome. We've got the uh, well, everything's automated now. The farm's automated, the uh, cobblestones automated, lava generations automated. I think we've done pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited about where we're at right now. That's, I mean, we've done this pretty quickly. So, all right, until next time, guys, I'm Slider. It, something's on fire. What's on fire? I don't, I don't think I got lava exposed. It's down here. What was on fire? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, until next time, guys, I'm Slider, and I'm out of here. Peace.